Hello one and hello all and welcome to another crafting adventure where today we are going to be finishing off ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -dong, our hands craft DIY six assorted military vehicles. Yes, in the past we have made the jeep, the missile launcher and the tank, which are right here yes these are the three that we have made so far uh they do they do have sort of like moving parts mm, that's a bit stiff you can turn that trust me on it um and uh, you know you can move them up and down and that sort of thing but if you do it too much they do become a little bit floppy so um a bit of paper wrapped around it will make it a bit stiffer again but yeah i was quite impressed by these particularly ba -ba -ba -ba. i like this jeep um, this is very sturdy. Sadly, the wheels don't turn, but uh, love the design. Very impressed. And I want to know, boom, do the remaining three, uh, what are they? They are t -t 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 -t, uh, missile truck, uh, armored vehicle, and nope, got the SUV, got tank, uh, the anti-aircraft missile. Do these remaining three, well, are these remaining three as good as your old Jeep or are they terrible I'm guessing they're not going to be terrible because everything in this range tends to be very good um, I think it's more to do with my own personal opinion all right so let's start with the armored vehicle now I'm not going to do too much detail on the building of these I just want to do a sort of showcase of what they look like but just in case you haven't seen them inside you get two sheets of parts and your instructions like this. Um, usually the instructions are pretty simple to follow. The parts on the side here are numbered. Take the corresponding piece out of the sheet and slide it together as is shown in the pictures. Uh, you do also get a small piece of sandpaper which has flown off somewhere, but you can use that to file down any pieces that are a little bit scaggly and, uh, well, may cut you. Additionally, if the joins are not stiff enough, you can put a little piece of paper around them to make them a bit thicker. So, uh, well, let's find out how difficult this one is to build. All right, we are halfway through. As you can see, we've got the base of the vehicle here. Only done the wheels on one side, but that's not an issue. Um, and we've got the gun turret. Uh, the side pieces, they do fall over a bit until the end piece is put in, but that hasn't happened yet. Uh, this kit is um, actually much easier than the previous ones to do, and it's a lot, it, it's a very solid kit, which I do like. Um, although it's not finished yet, so I can't give a final opinion. But I will say this one comes with a lot of these like pop-out parts, so uh, it's going to take a while to clean. Uh, mostly due to because each wheel is three pieces, and each one has a centerpiece you have to pop out. Very satisfying to do, but does generate some mess. All right, so, so far, nice and easy. Let's find out how easy it is to finish. Yes, we have our armored vehicle. And I will say this one, gun turret turns quite nicely. Uh, not the smoothest mechanism, but the more you do it, the smoother it will get. And also has these little hatches that you can open on the back. Oh, I do like movement in my wooden vehicles. Also, some of these wheels actually turn. So um, if you... I suppose glued these together. You could um, sort of make it drive, doesn't on glass because there's no um, tension from the topping. But there you are, that is the armored vehicle. Very nice indeed. Um, I would say to the same quality as the Jeep. Uh, everything went together well. Hardest bit to put on was this front plate here because the top kept pop popping off. But so long as you hold it down and push it on, there's no problem there. All right, so that is vehicle number four done. Let's take a look at vehicle number five, which will be the missile truck. This one looks very interesting. Let's find out what it is. Beep, 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 beep. We have our missile truck. Now, my hands are starting to get a little bit painful as these parts are very stiff to put together. And this first one took about 35 minutes. This one took uh, about the same amount of time. Um, again, this one's got some good motion in the missile turrets there. Do like that. Doesn't rotate, but does come up and down. The little cabin, you got your steering wheel, everything there. Missiles in there, although, oh no, they don't fall out. Oh, that one almost falls out. 
and you don't want your missiles falling out when you're driving so be careful with that bit of glue that'll be fine um yeah not too difficult to put together as you can see here are the instructions there nice and simple and clear to follow all right we have the final one remaining and that is i should have remembered what it's called it is the anti-aircraft missile launcher all right well let's make this bad boy Pew, pew, pew. Um, yeah, our anti-aircraft vehicle. Um, ooh, that wheel's very, very loose. But there you go. Uh, that is what it looks like. Now, the connection for this, it should turn up and down, but that's very, very stiff. So, um, yeah, I don't really get any movement there. and It might break if I pull it too hard. But again, uh, if you make one of these, you can sand it down with a bit of the sandpaper before putting it in, and you will get the movement. Um, it does turn left and right uh, if you uh, just uh, encourage it a little bit which is very nice and uh, as with the other ones the wheels will turn um, depending on the surface you are using it on um, I do quite like this one although I think of these three uh, oh, this one uh, is my favorite obviously with all the parts attached um, but I also quite like this one I actually like all three of these um, hmm I'll go for this one actually as my favorite just because it's the hardiest. This one is not going to break in a hurry and the movement works the best of all of them. Ah, very nice. So I have been very impressed by these uh, military vehicle kits. Uh, in the past I've only ever done dinosaurs and animals and a couple of um, like theme park rides and stuff. Uh, this style of kit and uh, yeah, never thought that cars would work so well. Um, oh, just a note. Uh, these are the uh, instructions for the anti-aircraft missile launcher. You can see them there very nicely. But for some reason, these ones are actually written in Chinese, um, not English. Um, but, you know, it, it's a picture, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it just tells you which order to do them. But if you think logically, it's not too difficult. Um, yeah, uh, all the pieces, as always, uh, popped out of the sprues uh, easily. Uh, no broken knobbly bits, which means you save on cleaning. Uh, this one did create a lot of dust just because you've got to pop out so many parts for the uh, uh, three wheels that go on each section because there's three, 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 three. So you do get a lot of bit of a lot of dust there. But there you are. That is the military vehicle kit. And if I reach over, ba -ba -da -ba, these two are my favorite from it we have the i think this is the armored personnel carrier can't remember the official name but i like this one and i particularly like this jeep mostly you could paint this up as anything you want um if you've got the right colors you could even do it as a jurassic park jeep because i th i think it's the right style not 100 percent sure but there you go there are some military vehicles i hope you did enjoy this video if you are interested in any of these models or sets I will put a link to the Handscraft uh, website and web store in the description of the video. Sorry, forgot the word for a moment there. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. Have a lovely week, and I will see you all next time.